Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the FLIR E4, or as I like to call it, the FLIR E4 Plus. It's a software upgraded version of the FLIR E4 which encompasses all of the features of the FLIR E8, a camera that costs nearly $3,000. The FLIR E4 can be had for around $1,000 or around $1,150 if you're interested in the upgraded version. It encompasses all of the features of the E8 and even more. To me, it's a pretty good value for the consumer or hobbyist looking to get into professional grade thermal imaging. Let's take a look. All FLIR EX series cameras come in a polypropylene specialty made case with weather seal to prevent ingress. Inside the ruggedized FLIR case we have space for an additional lithium ion polymer battery as well as lens. These are kept snug along with the camera in a custom foam molded inlet. The camera does include a few accessories, including uh, micro USB cables, a wall adapter, as well as a few international ports if you're traveling abroad. The FLIR E4 also features many of the same options as some of the other models, but does differ slightly in terms of its integrated resolution of the thermal camera, its uh, thermal sensitivity, as well as its measuring modes. They tend to be all software based, so the upgrade does seem to change these options quite a bit. The integrated trigger allows you to take pictures on the fly, and the ruggedized grip allows you to make sure the camera is held very stably in the hand. It's actually quite surprising how comfortable this is for as large as the camera is. When it comes to gripping the device, I highly recommend a C-clamp mounted onto a tripod. This will give you the best quality image while remaining stable and not wearing out your hand over continual use, especially for long duration shots. The FLIR E4 features four buttons, a power button, combo back button, and play button, as well as a center button for using in menus, as well as a four directional D-pad for navigating them. FLIR E4 comes with all kinds of thermal imaging options for hobbyists and professionals alike, really just boiling down to your taste or preference. Here we're going to take a look at some of the thermal options uh, available in the color palette selector. We have various things like iron and rainbow, or alarms such as above, below, interval, condensation, and so on. Moving to the measurement panel, we have uh, center spot, hot spot, cold spot, multiple spots, and even deltas for comparative analytics. Thermal alignment options such as uh, thermal camera, we have the MXX which is a FLIR exclusive, picture in picture and blending as well. Moving over to the temperature scale we can see that we have an auto option and a manual option for getting that image just right. In addition we have an up to eight times zoom in powers of two. This is a digital zoom, might I add, so the pixel count is going to matter greatly. All FLIR EX models feature a 9 Hz sensor, which is good enough for most imaging, but don't expect to be doing any kind of slow motion analytics on here. Removing the battery is simple as pulling two tabs and lifting off the grip from the battery. When you hold the two clips, it reveals a 3.63 volt lithium ion polymer battery running at 2.55 amp hours, giving us a total power of around 9.4 watt hours, enough to run the camera for about 4 hours of use. Powering on the FLIR EX series devices from cold start takes a little bit of time. And the reason for this is because the FLIR EX models actually run an embedded version of Windows. As you can imagine, this runs directly on the ARM microprocessor, but allows you to use sleep or hibernate modes, which allow almost instant on once the device has been powered up for the first time. Good for charging or just throwing back in the case. Another awesome aspect of the FLIR camera is its connectability to your computer via the FLIR tool software suite. Let's take a look at that now. Now, one of the handy features of using uh, FLIR tools is that you can actually stream video directly from the FLIR onto your PC. And what this allows you to do is use an external program like a screen capture piece of software and actually record the video. Not only can you record the video, but you can also download and analyze live uh, isometric data from the camera. So you just go into video, select signal, 
and it will change that from direct uh, video feed um, as if it was looking at the screen to actual data and then you can be interactive with the data by placing uh, various points you can analyze any piece uh, in the camera just like you would um, if you had took actual images or for this example here we can actually once it's done calibrating take a you know for example a polygonal image and actually analyze various pieces of this image. Very cool. We can also change things like color palettes just as you would on the camera um, and so on and so forth. So it's a really interesting uh, and very useful utility to be able to just download it right into your computer. Uh, something that really kind of defeats the storage limitation of the device and the lack of recording capabilities. Very cool. Overall, the firmware modified FLIRI 4 delivers a $3,000 thermal camera quality at around $1,000 to $1,200 price point, and I think that's quite enough for anyone to enjoy. So there's my review of the FLIR E4 camera with custom software update. It's an awesome camera at an awesome price range that has just simply amazing features. There's no competitor or no product that even comes close to the price to performance features you would come to expect from a modified camera like this. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and I hope to see you again next time. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.